Political correctness in film is in a place roughly for about 10 years. However, films at a tough time are just into political correctness and the way that it reacts to justify it. Some people say it's because film has been primarily straight edge, and in some cases this can be true. For example, I'll be looking at Western film. Films that have been made mainly in Hollywood and Europe, as I think it's easy to identify with them and will give you more examples for this purpose. Hollywood film quickly changed from the damsel in distress to a strong female character like Wonder Woman. And instead of te- stereotypes, with the small, quick-eyed, quick-talking Chinese people in films, we now have actual people with real stories and characters being developed. I'll start my video essay by talking about gender and how it's changed for the better in my opinion. However, it still has underlying problems. I think the main question to ask currently in film is why are women being represented differently? Is it the underlying problem of society and how women are still regarded as inferior to men with the pay gap and different hours? Or is it that men simply think they're better than women and that women are inferior? Personally, I think it's the first. I think that specifically with older men, older generations, they find it hard to accept women and think that they are that men typically do a better job. I say this with inverted commas. An article by Abdullah Masood posted on Geeks gives an example of the Powerpuff Girls, who are asked in an episode, what other superheroes are there apart from them who are female? They go on to name Batgirl and Supergirl. However, the criminal in the programme quickly brings them back and reminds them these are just female representations of male counterparts. However, I don't think this is a fair quote, as I think since Powerpuff Girls has been released, there's been a lot better representations of women. For example, which I mentioned earlier, Wonder Woman. If we look at Wonder Woman, we see a strong female character who basically doesn't like men. She's told on her island where she lives with only women that men aren't as good as her. I think this was a good representation for film and started to bring it on a bit further. However, Wonder Woman still had its problems. It wasn't a massive hit compared to what it should have been, but it also had the problem of keeping in a male sexual character and trying to create that relationship and that rapport between male and female. I personally don't think it needed this. I think it was an unfair thing to do. And I think there was a story there anyway without having to add a female male relationship there. Secondly, in my video essay, I'm going to talk about race, which I think as a white Christian male has developed a lot. However, my culture has never suffered. So instead, I'm going to look at a film that in the last year came on leaps and bounds and really helped the film industry with the race problem, if it is a problem. The film I'll be looking at is Black Panther. Released in May, it was its first of its own to have a majority black cast, which has not been seen in a major blockbuster film before. However, this takes on the Marvel Cineverse, which is a whole different fantasy universe, and just, you know discusses different things, and Black Panther is very much the same. However, Black Panther was more seen as a resistance. BBC critic claims it to be a resistance against um, white films. However, uh, director talks about how it will change black lives as an ethnic or white ethnic community and how it's going to really benefit young kids growing up. Political correctness in film has a long way to go. I think it's been helped by recent films in the last five years. However, I still think there's some room for improvement. I think specific pieces of media and projects that have been put out there are good. However, I think we also need to remember not to take everything personally.